Hello everybody, my name is the Epic Pikmin and welcome to a voiceover of me playing the demo of Mega Man 11 on PS4. This is a recording of my voice over the footage because I do not have a microphone for my PS4. So I'm gonna be talking about what I do in the level instead of well, that same thing happening while I'm actually playing it. So yeah, that is me climbing a ladder. Charging a Mega Buster and blasting in. You know what, I want to get this out of the way. I hit the pause button there by accident, by the way. But, uh... Born again wanted me to tell you guys that, uh... Last two episodes of Invader Zim are going to be a bit delayed because Bornig is having some issues with his computer, aka Gary's mod on his side is just randomly deciding to crash a lot. And yeah, that's pretty much the basis. Back to Mega Man 11. I like Mega Man. I have Legacy Collection 1 and 2 and X Legacy Collection 1 and 2 on PS4 also. I make videos of that, who knows. I'm, and that is, is a boss from the announcement trailer. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Alright, we're coming up upon a place where I have a lot of trouble in this demo. I have played this demo quite a few times. Alright, so that's Impact Man's weapon. I like to use it because it lets you just dash forward. Kind of like how X can dash. Yeah, and then over here, I like to use the Power Gear with Fuse Man's weapon. And then here, it pretty much works until, I, until that thing crushes me, as it just did. Alright, so I respawn, I switch back to Impact Man's weapon. And heading up. And I'm doing that. And I decided to blow up that guy. No, blow that guy up. And then here and just trying to dash. And then no. We're back. We're here. We uh, got the power here, yeah. Do that. And there. And then we come across another problem I have here. Sometimes it just won't let me jump up there. And I die. So I respawn. Rinse and repeat. I'm pretty sure this is the attempt where I actually do it. Yeah, it is. I remember. Because it only happened a few minutes ago. One of these ideas, I gotta get a microphone for my PS4. That way these things will be less awkward. So yeah. It uh, lets me jump up there this time. Get out of there. Yeah, it gets me, but I just leave him to probably go roll off into the spinning blades of death and die. I just realized. And here's another part of level I had trouble with, but I normally don't have trouble with this part. So I'm jumping over there, and then I get pushed back down there by that thing, the uh, falling block. And then there are now a bunch of those little flying guys. So I decide to clear them out before trying again. And then I get pushed back down again. So, you know, I'm trying to climb back up. I get pushed down by the, uh, the, that falling block and the yellow thing, so then Beat has to get me out. So then I'm, and then I just fall there. And then just starting to come back. They're all coming back. You get hit. Trying to make it across. And I finally make it. Also, does anybody know the names of those little guys with the little helmets? 
because I don't. But they tend to be like the main thing of Mega Man enemies. So that makes it feel like I should know what they're called. Yeah, bro. I fall and beat Sazer, so I try to get across. And I fall and I try to get fall. So I decide to head back over there and I fall again and beat picks me back up and flies away. It's this guy again. Also kinda easy. Now we, we, we beat him again, because he's kind of a pushover. And then there's the evil purple Eddie. Did, did Dr. Wily turn Eddie evil, or is that just an evil version of Eddie that Dr. Wily made? Well, I guess we'll find out when the game actually comes out. That's actually the first time I take out one of those rolling guys with the charged blast from the Mega Buster. And I keep going through the level. Be that wily hammer guy. You guys come back. And I make it through here. Because this one is a lot easier than the last one. Yeah, I made it here. Slide a bunch. And there's an E tank. The great holy grail of Mega Man. And then does anybody know what those gears do? Those gears I just picked up. Are, are they just like the bolts that you can use at the item shop? Speed gear! And here is a pretty cool place to use a speed gear. And then I just made there. Normally I have a, a lot more trouble with that part of the level. So I'm making it through here, making my way downtown. I'm not gonna say anything else about that song. Yeah. I decided I just had to pick up that health thing even though my health is already full. Because I'm playing on newcomer mode because while I am not too new, to Mega Man, I am kind of bad at it. So that, you know what, I kind of am new to Mega Man. I first started playing the original series around after my birthday. I bought Legacy Collection 1 and 2 with my birthday money. Anyways, uh, here we have Block Man. For hashtag bust block man, you know, you know that thing that was in the demo launch trailer that was supposed to be part of the delayed Nintendo Direct. So here, I don't normally do this, but I decided to try using Impact Man's weapon because Mega Man Wiki said that was Block Man's weakness, but I did not find it to be very effective. And as you can see in the boss health bar, it didn't really do all that much damage. I think the Mega Buster is doing a lot more damage. So I think that's Black Man's weakness. Okay, so I'm trying to make my way past him because he's crushing me. Here I am. Shipping down his health. I give the double gear and then he immediately kills me. So this time I try again and don't use Impact Man's weapon. Just the Buster. And as you can see here, I will take him down. You know, hit him with a charge blast. And then you just spam the bar button until he go becomes the big block man guy. He is right now. And also, something I realized when I was watching this earlier. That hieroglyph in the back portrays Black Man killing Mega Man. So there's that. 
I did not notice that the first three times I played this demo. But I do now. It makes it seem like the universe made that happen because they knew I was doing a video. So I activate the double gear and then immediately use the E-Tank. And I start charging a blast. So I can knock Blockman out of his thing. And I try using it. But I still don't know if you can turn off the gear while the double gear is on and not lose the double gear so you can use it again later. Which, I mean, if it doesn't do that, that would make sense because really, if that would break the game, you know. So here I try using the speed gear, and then I look back at this part of the footage, I feel like I should have used the power gear, that probably would have been more effective at hitting him. But then I finally hit him, and I win, and hashtag bus block man, yay! So yeah, that's where I'm going to be ending off this video. If you would like me to s play Mega Man 11 when it comes out, uh, let me know in the comments below. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you want. I'll see you in the next